All right. So, uh, roadmap roundup. And uh, we're going to go over more than just the roadmap roundup today. Because this is a very important time in Star Citizen's history. And this is all about Alpha 318, essentially, right? And I am going to not just look at the roadmap. We're going to look at a Spectrum post from Jake. And we're going to look at a little post that was made by Chris Roberts on March 18th, 2022. And discuss some of the good, the bad, and uh, unfortunately, some of the ugly, I think. And let's start out with uh, the update here. And I'm not on screen. Here we go. There I am. And you guys, your chat can go away. That was from the cooking stream yesterday. Uh, Alpha 318. Before we jump into the roadmap update, we would like to give you an update on the status of 318, as well as an update to our standard release cadence for the this year. Um, you know, the, the standard release cadence didn't, they, they, they didn't do it, um, unless shortly after means something completely different. Um, yeah. So as previously mentioned, we are still on track to release Alpha 3, 318 to the PTU this month. Uh, that was previously mentioned by Zylo. And I was very critical about him mentioning a date. I still am critical about mentioning mentioning a date, but I'm glad we're still on track. Um, so that is definitely a positive. We will start with the Vokati and aim to expand to more players soon after. We are eager to get persistent entity streaming in your hands as quickly as possible. As the more time we have with all of you hammering on this, the new behemoth of technology on this new behemoth of technology, the better. That's going to be a big thing that they're going to struggle with. Uh, it's going to be unstable. It's, it's already communicated that we're going to be in PTU for a very long time. I don't think they're going to be getting a lot of full servers and a lot of people hammering it. And I'm very, very concerned that when it does get pushed live and a bunch of servers are running, that a, a lot of new things are going to pop up and it's going to be incredibly unstable. It's going to be a really tough one for them. Uh, as communicated in the last letter for the chairman, we expect PES to remain in PTU for two to three months for robust testing. Our current goal is to release Alpha 3.18 to the live servers in the first half of November, ahead of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This is where things get weird. This means that the 3.18 patch will now also include content related to IAE, which you will notice in the detailed breakdown below. As you know, PES and subsequent technologies will change the core of Star Citizen forever and provide a giant leap forward in realizing the vision of what our shared universe might be. It's no surprise that we have had an abnormal cadence this year, and we really appreciate all of your support as we push through these major milestones. You know... <laughs> The abnormal cadence, again, I'm I'm beating a dead horse here. The abnormal cadence has not been communicated very much. Okay. I I think this is really problematic. Because what I think this this does is this forces a 3.18 release before it's ready. And I would be Listen, I will buy a spaceship, I think. I will invest in the company if they push IAE back because 3.18 isn't good enough. Because this is what they do. This is what they always do. The marketing pushes... Patches in that we don't need that aren't ready. And the communication and the release cadence this year and the letter from the chairman all pushed a narrative that the live server matters. That our experience matters. This 
is directly contradictory to that. Completely contradictory to that. 3.18 needs to stay on the PTU until... Ah, see? Maybe they're of, of this mentality. Will 3.18 ever be as stable as 3.15 and 3.16 in the 3.18 cycle. I don't think so. So they might be of the idea that fuck it. It's going to be bad. Get ready for the bumpy ride. And maybe the two to three months isn't to stop 30Ks. Because guess what? Who cares if we 30K? If this shit actually works, who cares? Think about it. We are so used to being so negatively affected by a server crash and a, thir and, and a, a crash to desktop. Crash all day, bro. I got persistence. My missions should persist. My character should persist. Crash me all day, right? I should care less about crashes than I ever have before because the only thing that I'm that I'm taken away from would be a little bit of time to get back in the server. So maybe they're not as concerned with instability, right? So that's kind of where I'm at. I don't like the idea that you're tying a marketing event to the release of a major milestone for Star Citizen's history. But I think there's two sides to this coin here. And maybe it's not too bad. Because what PES should be able to do is make the instability and server crashes and client crashes have less of a detriment to the player, right? I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate when they do this stuff, but it, it if it's working okay, then it's not, it shouldn't be as big of a problem. All right, let's actually go into the release view uh, update here. So the following card has been added to release view slated for Alpha 318, the Corsair. So uh, basically, uh, everything took so long that the Corsair is making it in. Uh, building, balancing, and implementing Drake's interplanetary multi-crew explorer, the Corsair. After further review, these deliverables will require additional tasks that are currently being scoped out and scheduled. Therefore, we are removing these two cards from release view until their release timing is reassessed. New interdiction scenarios and environmental space missions. Environmental space missions were the ones that were like supposed to just pop up. Yeah, the 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 quantum stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. You know, Tony Z stuff. I'm starting to get really frustrated with Tony Z. Okay. Because essentially they've done forward facing for the player have done almost nothing. The I don't and and you know we haven't really got too much communication on how well the tests have gone for them. So I'm starting to get annoyed with this dude. Not gonna lie. Progress tracker. With this published, we're beginning to add the Q2 2023 schedule for upstream teams with more teams to follow and subsequent publishes uh the santokia which is uh yeah just a medium fighter uh gn fighter and a lot of people purchased that i believe but yeah after assessing with the team and vehicles being worked on for squadron 42 taking a higher priority uh the following vehicles are being removed from the progress tra tracker temporarily until the resources can be reallocated uh the apollo and the ranger uh, I think the Apollo coming off is something that a lot of people are going to be upset by because I 
I believe that um, everybody likes the kind of minor update, I guess, to medical gameplay, but are looking for more. And I think that they believe when the Apollo comes in, they'll get, they'll maybe see that more. Um, and they just won't. Additional focus from USPU has been placed on the freight elevators, deliverable for hangars and cargo, and is a prerequisite for hangars to persist. Therefore, we're removing future work for the following deliverable temporarily as this work has been completed. So persistent hangers are done. I need to read this again. Additional focus from USPU is being placed on the freight elevators deliverable for hangers and cargo. And is a prerequisite for hangers to persist. Therefore, we're removing future work for the following deliverable temporarily as this work is being completed. Okay, okay. Not has been completed, is being completed. So... They're still moving towards the persistent hangar thing, but yeah, freight elevators are more important. And to be honest, I agree. I, I Whatever. You know, these are the things, this is why we don't have cards and if we don't know where things are. And I think I'm okay with this one. It is what it is. Uh, this is, if it wasn't the confirmation, uh, cargo refactor is not a cargo refactor. It is refactoring your cargo boxes and making them physical. I think this is the nail in the coffin right there for that. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. If you don't, you know, you're not happy with that or whatever. Uh, then it is what it is, I think. But at the same time, I'm not happy about it either. I truly believe that if you're going to do like, I would be totally fine for them to push cargo refactor back one patch and deliver all of these things together. But at the same time, the impact that physicalized cargo would have on the game that we play today, even without persistence, uh, is such a monumental change that you might as well just push it as physicalized cargo. And I think that's totally fine. All right. Now... Speaking of physicalized cargo, there was a response to someone who asked uh, if it's still on track. And Jake says, as of today, it's still on track. If we don't mention something on in the roundup, it hasn't moved. Check roadmap roundup itself for the latest. The team is developing this new system. The team developing this new system has some important reviews during the next two weeks. And if it looks like it needs more time, as always, we'll update you accordingly in a subsequent roadmap. And then I see, you know, who who's a, a viewer and 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 a, a member of our Discord and everything. I I think we talked about it earlier. I don't think his comments reasonable here. Um, I think some people believe that the delay of three eighteen is somehow related to this. Um, I think what Jake said here is exactly how he's communicated to us this whole time he's speaking about the card on the roadmap of release view if it's still there then as of this time as of the information he has now the the uh the road the road is straight it's still fine and they're and 3.18 is going to have car the cargo refactor in it but I think he's purposefully very vague there as it's probably not just the cargo refactor that's being reviewed and other things could fall off still as well. Now, where I take issue with that is here. This is the letter for the chairman. The cargo refactor was slated for, I believe, 3.17.0 or 3.16.0. Meaning that the work to physicalizing this cargo should have happened and have has been ha, should have been in progress for many months, for a very long time. And what they said here, 
as it did not make much sense to engineer the revamp physicalized cargo system and salvage for the old system, these two features have been engineered for PES. As if they were already engineered. You want wrecks from players and battles to stick around so you could salvage. And will arrive with 3.18. Will. And now we're hearing, in two weeks, they're going to have a review and maybe not make it. That's not okay. That's not okay. So I thought the letter for the chairman had good a good tone, but I think like the worst case scenario has happened for them. But this is a big oof. So in general, I truly believe that they're going to push 318. And I'm not sure, like, what's the worst case scenario for 3.18? I think the worst case scenario is the cargo refactor dropping off. Because out of any feature, anything coming in my opinion, I think it's the one that kind of changes the game for the most amount of people. Um, aside from obviously PES, right? But then when you really think about PES, instability is going to be annoying, but it's not going to be downright game breaking if it works. You know, if it doesn't have an incredible amount of issues, as, you know, recovery and things like that. But I imagine it would work somewhat if it was being released to a 3.18 live patch. I'm probably going to eat my words there, but the I'm actually really curious as to how detrimental a server crash will be and how detrimental a client crash would be with this tech, right? That's the reason why it's cool. That's the reason like they all talk about the coffee cup stuff. I I don't care. I the coffee cup only matters if the the alphaness of Star Citizen is less bad than uh than it was before. So that's how I feel about this. Um, you know, this is obviously gonna be on YouTube. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought about how I feel about things. Um, I don't think a marketing event ever should be tied to a major feature. Uh, because that marketing event can cause instability, and um, especially in IAE, which brings in a bunch of people uh, to the game and could cause more and more issues. But it could be that all of this is a big test. If it is, CIG, just tell us, right? That's, that's the thing for me is if if your idea is by the end of, because I would imagine this would happen, is by the end of um, the PTU cycle, people are going to be PTU out, PTU'd out with 3.18, and they're probably just going to push it into IAE and get more bodies in and find more issues. Just tell us. Um, because the communication for the last six to nine months, maybe more, was that the live server matters. But if you need to do this because the future of the game matters, just say it, right? And uh, I'd kind of be okay with that personally, but you just have to say it, you just have to communicate it. And um, I shouldn't have to guess all this stuff. But for right now, it doesn't seem like that's the intention. Uh, I don't know, though. So again, let me know what you guys think. And uh, as always, YouTube comments are tough to have a back and forth with. Um, obviously I do read the comments and I respond to some of them, but the, the conversational side of this game is much better suited on Twitch or my discord. So twitch.tv slash salty Mike or discord.gg slash salty Mike. Those links are in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube and, uh, stop by, say hello. We've had a few of you guys stopping by lately and, uh, I appreciate it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.